Hello, welcome to a quick review. Uh, picked this up, it was dirt cheap, it was for someone special. Uh, it's got a Hello Kitty sticker on the corner, uh, Sega toys at the bottom. This is a uh, little miniature thing that you can buy uh, based on this game called Jewel Land. Sega, of course, got Sega toys in the corner. Uh, game in Japan, you play it online and um, you know, you buy this little figure and there's also a little card right there that you can uh, unlock stuff. There's a code inside. Um, it's uh, This is a jewel pet for Jewel Land and this is magic in there. Um, very cutesy sort of anime styled mini online game. Uh, but whatever, I'm not going to ever play that. Uh, so packaging is pretty decent. Uh, protects the little thing inside. Um, a little huge gap right there, which is terrible because wasting space and all that. Uh, but it does protect the toy, and um, way better than how American does things because American things, it's you know, the card back figure usually means you gotta tear the plastic off, rip it off the card. Whereas in Japanese, you just, well, there's tape on it that you can carefully remove, I guess, but you, can, uh, you just cut the tape and uh, come out. Back. So. Where's the focus gone? There we go. Uh, yeah, warning small parts Chinese Hong Kong sticker because you know legally you have to do that. And in between these cards, as always, I always check these cards now because that's how they that's usually where they hide the uh, instructions manual. Uh, but this is not an instruction, this is uh, just a form to uh, apply for stuff and win stuff, feedback like, like survey right here and where you got it. And more stuff in the back, like how good it is, or whatever. I don't care about that. Uh, that plastic pops out. You got a little figure, let's go that last. Uh, you got this little code card. It says open right there. Um, I didn't cut this line, I decided just to peel it open. And then you got this little picture here. I am assuming that if you put this code, you unlock this creature, which is not the same creature as the figurine, but you'll get this creature in the game. And uh, the code's pretty long, it's uh, got two codes in here. Um, one code has, it's, it's a, it's a J-charm, um, and one code is the creature I guess, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, 20, you gotta type in 20 letters for the second code, and the first code is quite a lot shorter, but so you guys can uh, see it. The pink card right there. So uh, you're not seeing that code because that's going to my special person. Uh, solid piece. It's a uh, transparent plastic, you can see right there. It's got a transparent green plastic thing going on, and uh, on top of the transparent green plastic, it's Completely solid. Uh, they put this furry stuff on it, which feels nice. It feels feels pretty good, furry, which makes it look cute, I guess. Um, baby, anime eyes. It's um, I don't care for statues, but uh, it's a pretty nicely made thing. Fuzzy, um, which of course is a little kitty cat or fox, something. No magic kitty cat with a bow tie, and uh, she's definitely gonna like this. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, hmm, pretty good. Oh, there's a quite a seam line down the edge where the front sheet and the back sheet of the fabric connect, but overall, it's, it's pretty good. Um, and it was cheap, you know, so it's for the foot's price, it's really good, it's cute, and you got the little card for your game. Uh, so yeah, it's it's pretty nice. I have no idea if that Jewelry, jewelry Land, Jewel Land game is any good, but, uh, this thing is definitely cute. Cute, cute, cute. So, subscribe to the comment below, and of course, uh, take care and have a nice day. Wink.